Do you want to be able to run through a portal that beams you from one place of a map to a complete different location? In this tutorial I will show you how to build teleporters in Population 1. Okay, so for this we start the event editor and here in the events we add an event, we open it and then as a trigger we can choose many different things like um, yeah whatever you want but the usual way what we do is we choose the trigger function and then we select the triggering player so that it happens to the person who actually triggers the function and here in the action we choose um, teleport player let's see there must be somewhere down here uh, teleport player here so what is important that to this place you need to go and then change to variable here you select event and the trigger idea you can close it um, also you should give the event a name so if you have several events that you can actually find it more easily here I will call it teleport and that's already what you need to do in the advanced editor so next step is you go to the normal editor to the traditional editor um, here in interactive you choose this trigger box and place it that's where the person who um, where the person needs to enter to activate the event. What is important is that it's at least high enough for the for that it touches the head of the person because that's how it triggers it. And then on the other side you need to make the teleport point. That's where the person actually shows up again after he is teleported. So now we added the trigger box. So as an enter function we need to use teleport. The exit function we can leave as it is. And um, important is that you give it a trigger ID. I suggest you start with one. And then you go to the teleport point. That's where the person shows up again. And here you also choose one. The reason for this is that you always need to assign a trigger box to a teleport point. If several boxes have the same ID, they will all teleport to the same point. If several points are assigned to one box, then the system will randomly pick one point. So if you don't want that, you can go here to the second trigger box and choose a different trigger ID, for example trigger ID 2. And at the trigger point you always also can choose the ID 1. Then this one will teleport to this point and this box will teleport to this point. Please note that there are some other interesting settings. So here in the trigger box you can choose here visible then um, the green box here um, will be visible but you can also change the color you see here you can make them more red or more yellow um, or if you put all up um, the, it's totally white. So they use this RGB system, so you can control very easily which color um, you want. Another interesting setting is here in the menu for the teleport points. So here you can actually make teleporting silent. Now let's test it. Okay, here I invited Grayman. Um, to run through the teleports and see if they work. You see the first one worked, then second one worked too. And the third one, it also goes, but uh, here I made two teleports. So sometimes it will be going back or sometimes it will keep on going. So here it went back. So everything works very nice. Okay. So if you have any further questions or want to know more about the advanced editor, then please leave a comment um, and I try to help you as much as I can.